Aww, animals. Felix the cat uses up one of her nine lives. A London dock worker is being hailed a hero after he saved a cat from drowning in the River Thames. The surveillance footage of the incident was posted to Facebook by London's Royal Docks on Monday. It shows the docks engineering and operations manager Scott Durban leaping into action after Felix fell into the drink. Felix got an unexpected bath when she was fighting with another cat, and things got out of hand. But Scott Durbin wasn't about to let the Royal London Docks official office cat drown. Faster than a speeding bullet, Durbin ran to the water's edge and grabbed the little kitty by her neck before she sunk to the bottom of the river. We're not sure if cats are good swimmers, but Durbin wasn't taking any chances. Felix the cat was doing fine on Tuesday. A spokesman for the dog said he was happy to report that the kitty experienced no injury or trauma. However, Felix may have suffered a little wounded pride. The spokesman said everyone in the office had been laughing behind Felix's back about her blase, nothing to see here routine that followed her dunking. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Sometimes cats just do the cutest things. Abandoned cat found with two pounds of fur weighing it down. If you thought you'd seen every kind of crazy cat video out there, well, think again. On December 16th, the Animal Rescue League shelter in Pittsburgh posted these outrageous photographs to Facebook of a kitty in desperate need of a snippity snip. The cat's 82-year-old owner had Alzheimer's disease, and when he was moved to a nursing home, the furry friend was forgotten and left behind. A distant relative showed up to leave some food out for the elderly man's cat, but he was caught off guard when something raggedly bolted out from under the bed. Using a flashlight, the man searched around the house until he spotted a cat wearing what appeared to be a fur coat for the ages. Its fur was so matted, due to the neglect of her unwittingly forgetful owner, that the cat looked like some sort of mythical creature out of an old monster movie. The man brought the poor disheveled cat to the vet, where they put her to sleep so the long overdue haircut could find the commence. Free of her furry shackles, 14-year-old Heidi now has a new home with the man who saved her. Nice new do, kitty cat! And she even looks slimmer without the dreads. Good Samaritan saves cat stuck on busy highway. This man, Richard Christensen, is a hero, although he claims he's nothing of the kind. But the little freeway the cat, he certainly is. On April 9, Christensen posted this to Facebook. Watch his heroism as he risks all to save the life of this little fella. Cat. I don't know if somebody let him out or if he was walking, but it looked like he got scared and he's trying to make it through this fence. He's been chewing on the fence. He's scared as hell. I know you're dehydrated. I know, baby. I'm going to help you, okay? Oh my God. I know, baby. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know, baby. I know you're scared, dehydrated. I know. Can I help you? Can I help? I know. Can I help you? I know, baby. I'm gonna go ahead and take you to the Humane Society and have you checked out, okay? Get you uh, back to dehydration in a nice, quiet little spot. Freeway is now recovering in a foster home thanks to Good Samaritan Richard Christensen. Lou Hu is officially the world's saddest cat. <laughs> Whatever you're doing to make this cat sad, please stop. Seriously, we can't take it anymore. Look at those world-weary eyes. Damn, even fresh watermelon doesn't brighten her day. Lou Hu the cat even looks sad playing with a panda bear. How is that possible? A cat-panda combo is like a Pavlovian cue for happiness, no? <laughs> Lou Hu lives in Beijing, but that's not why she's sad. She has two older brothers, but they're also not the reason she's sad. In fact, no one knows why she's sad. It's one of those Bermuda Triangle-like mysteries. It must be you. You must have done something. Cats don't just get sad. So will you please stop doing whatever it is you're doing? You're making Lou sad.
Her owner, Maggie Liu, on the other hand, has 40,000 followers on her Instagram account, which features several billion pictures of Luhu and her siblings, so Maggie's not that sad. But Luhu? <laughs> Lu has now been dubbed the saddest cat in the world. How sad is that? Grumpy Cat was different. You'd be grumpy too if people turned you into a meme. <laughs> But Lou is too sad to even be made into a meme, and that's sad too. We'd like to say it gets better, Luhu, but but it doesn't. It just stretches on and on, one long sad day after another. It's just sad. <laughs> Look at those eyes. No, I will not take my Prozac. Leave me alone. Only Luhu knows how I feel. <laughs> just sad. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Cat gets head stuck in plastic jar. Helpful human sets it free. Wait. 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 תיזהר <laughs> שאי אפשר לשלוף, מה זה? יואו, איזה יופי! כל הכבוד לך. כל הכבוד. זומבי קאט ריאפירס פייב דייז אפטר בינג בריד. בארט דה קאט איז וואן לוקי פלורידה פיליין. אין הסטורי ליין סטרייט אאוט אוף דה מובי פט סמטרי Bart was dead and buried, literally. But miraculously, he turned up alive and well a few days after being put to rest. 24-month-old Bart was trying to cross the street near his home in Tampa, Florida, one day a couple of weeks ago, when he was tragically hit by a passing car. Owner, Alice Hudson, found Bart lifeless in a pool of blood, and with serious injuries to his head, he and his neighbor did the decent thing and buried Bart at the side of the road. Little did they know that Bart was not dead. So using one of his fabled nine lives, the persistent pussy clawed his way back into the world, giving Hudson the shock of his life five days later when a neighbor found the now zombie Bart nearby and brought him home. Bart is now in the care of the local Humane Society and is being nursed back to health, even though his injuries mean he is likely to lose one eye. No word yet on whether there are any ancient Native American burial grounds nearby. 10-day-old kitten survives dog attack and amputation. A Colorado animal shelter has saved the cutest and most resilient kitten. Happily named Trooper, a 10-day-old kitten was facing death when he was brought to an animal hospital in Golden, Colorado. Trooper lived under the porch in the area with four other siblings. The kittens could barely open their eyes or walk when... Eventually, the litter was found, but only two of the kittens had survived. Trooper and his sister, Patience, seen here, were taken to the animal hospital. Trooper's badly injured leg put him on the verge of death. Veterinarians decided it was best to remove the leg, and the kitten underwent a risky operation. Following the surgery, Trooper was, well, a trooper. The tiny kitten pulled through. 
he and his sister were placed in a foster home as they continue their recovery process. Recently, Trooper has been adopted by his forever parents, and has grown into a handsome, active cat 